G'day folks. Since the iPhone 12 has been released, I've been asked several times on my channel whether it works properly with some of the latest DJI gear. And it's actually a very valid question because we have seen problems in the past when Apple releases new hardware, sometimes things don't work as expected. Now this year I did actually run into a problem with the Osmo Mobile 4 and it's a pretty significant problem and uh, we'll kind of get to that later on in the video. But I can say the Mavic Air 2 performed flawlessly. We're also going to be testing out the Osmo Pocket version 1. I haven't received the new Osmo Pocket or Pocket it too as they're calling it now. So let's just jump right in and take a closer look. So let's start with the Mavic Air 2 here. One of the questions I have been asked is whether this new phone with the new flat edges will fit inside the controller. You just have to make sure you have it all the way pressed back so these lips here on the controller go over top of the frame. Right now I have the Apple silicone case installed and you can see there with a the case it fits with no issue. Now some of the other cases that are available perhaps from OtterBox they're a little bit thicker they may not fit. I don't own one so I don't have any way of testing that. And whether you choose not to use a case of course it's going to fit the same way. So over the last couple days I have taken it for a few flights with the iPhone 12 Pro. So let's take a look at that footage now. So we're just going to do a quick test with the new iPhone 12 Pro and the Mavic Air 2. We're going to see how well the DJI Fly app runs on it. So let's just go for a quick flight and uh, we'll see how it does. So yeah, we went for a nice little flight. Colors are beautiful. The phone performs beautifully with the DJI Fly app. Let's uh, bring it in for landing. There we go. So yeah, there is absolutely no issue. I ran into no problems running the DJI Fly app. I had no problems with the drone, any of the controls. Everything works as expected. So let's talk about the Osmo Mobile 4 now, or the OM4 as it's officially known. I did actually run into a pretty significant problem with it when testing it with the iPhone 12 Pro. Basically, as you'll see here in a minute, there's a little bit of jiggle in the video. That's when recording with the DJI Mimo app. If I record with the stock camera app on the iPhone 12 Pro, there's no jiggle at all. So I'm just gonna show you some footage here. This has been recorded with the DJI Mimo app. And uh, as you can see here in the footage, there's quite a jiggle in it. Now I didn't notice it while I was recording it. It wasn't until I got home and looked at the footage and thought, whoa, you know, that doesn't look very good. I thought maybe the phone wasn't balanced 100%. So I did some quick testing here, rebalanced the phone, everything looked good. I went out the next day to get some more footage and retest it. And uh, sure enough, the jiggle was there again. You can see here in this footage, this is the next day. Now the jiggling isn't as bad, but it's still definitely present. It's like you're almost walking handheld with the phone, that kind of movement you can sometimes get. Now if we compare it to this footage here, this footage was shot with the stock camera app on the iPhone 12 Pro. You can see that that jiggling isn't there. It actually looks nice and smooth. It looks really good. So I'm not exactly sure what the problem is. Maybe it's something to do with the way Apple has changed how it is stabilized. But definitely there's something going on there. Now like I said, maybe it's just my unit. I'm not 100% sure. Now if any of you watching this video has an iPhone 12 Pro, and the Osmo Mobile 4. I'm curious to know how your user experience has been. Have you noticed any issues with it? Now, other than the uh, shaking video, everything else seemed to work fine. The zoom capabilities functioned as normal, as well as the shutter button when you press record. Everything else seemed to function correctly. Now, the other thing to note is when you're using the Mimo app, it does not support the Dolby Vision 10-bit HDR. Again, I'm sure DJI will be adding that in a future firmware update, but in the meantime, you can get around that by using the stock camera app on the iPhone 12 Pro. 
then you're able to film in full Dolby Vision 10-bit HDR. And the last thing we're going to take a look at here is the Osmo Pocket. I tested this out a few times with the iPhone 12 Pro and it seemed to work just fine. So we've got the Mimo app running there and we'll just go ahead and we'll plug it in. There you can see it picks it up right away. Now unfortunately you do have to take the case off. The Apple silicone case that I use with the iPhone 12 is just a smidge too thick. If you really put pressure on it, it will make a connection, but ideally you do have to take it off. All the controls and everything seem to work just fine. I didn't run into any issues. Well folks, that's basically it for my video. As you can see, the Mavic Air 2 works flawlessly. There's no issues at all with the iPhone 12 Pro. A few little problems with the Osmo Mobile 4, but I'm confident that will be corrected fairly soon. Hopefully if you are in the market for an iPhone 12 Pro, this helped answer some of your questions. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.